Hi guys, it's Bob from Greybeard Models. Welcome back to my channel. Um, first thing I'd like to say is uh, thanks to all my subscribers and, and the people that make comments on the videos. It really does, uh, it does work. It, it just, it's, it's really good. I read all your comments. Uh, might not do them at the same time as they come up because they come up quite quickly and you know I'm in the middle of doing stuff whatever but I really am grateful for all your comments and, and your support so thanks thanks a lot for that um, today I'm starting on the commercial vehicle group build which has been hosted by Jason at Model Kit Stuff and Robert Rims Models um, and that, I'll make a start on that today um, in case you don't know reaches over to bench um, this is the kit that I'm going to be doing oh, it is, it's the right way up um, it is this is the kit I'm going to be doing as you can see it's still factory sealed there are some pieces loose in there um, that's because I think it's an old style sprue but we'll get over to the bench we'll have a look um, so let's have a look so let's get the box open and we'll see what's in there yeah. Oh, I can't get a bloody. Oh, that's better. It's weird, you know, when you're trying to, you're trying to do something because you, you've got the camera there and it, it's sort of in the way. But there you go. Right, let's get this. Let's get the wrapping off. No, Tally Ho passenger coach. I think if I remember rightly when I looked, the, the, the tooling is from, I think the 1960s, I'm not sure. So let's get the lid off and have a look. Wow. Um, well, I'm not surprised. Uh, it's obviously old tooling. You can tell by, <coughs> excuse me, you can tell by the fact that it's these old sort of trees as it were um yeah <laughs> this is going to be fun um it's going to be some really weird weird stuff in here i'm sure like the oh like the um let's move the box out of the way and uh i think what we'll do is remove move this into place so that i'm not going to get any issues with the camera focusing but i do like I do like those figures. They do look fun. Um, almost like something like out of Charles Dickens type type stuff. Um, that's the first part, and the next. Yeah, right. So the next sprue or tree, as they used to be called. Um, interesting figures uh that's, that's a bit of a shame the guy looks like he's been shot in the chest um so we dependent on how it all goes together it looks like we're probably gonna have to uh have to fill that and uh yeah gonna have to fill that figure he's got because he's got a sink mark <laughs> right in the chest um and uh yeah that's nice he's in in some sort of old sort of i don't know early early 1900s sort of uh or actually uh, early 1800s uniform um and the guy there with the with the trumpet and all of that and the lady there probably telling him to shut up um and they, these characters as well oh they, they come away never mind um yeah and these characters as well they're they're quite neatly molded a little bit soft obviously for the for its its time its era but yeah pretty good um i'm surprised there's no flash um which does indicate to me that this is probably a, quite an early mold um off of off of the tooling um yeah this it, it's, it's gonna be quite a fun thing to build uh like i say interesting parts um nothing nothing as clever as being chromed or anything like that and then the next 
thing I find in there, these two horse parts which which are loose in there, they've obviously come off of one of the trees um, and they're, they're sort of sitting there but look at everything, I've got halves of horses and all that sort of thing um, yeah very crisp moulding for its, for its time and uh, there's, a, there's a little sink mark there but I don't know is that well look that's on the underside so it probably won't matter too much and it's got a, an equivalent sink mark on, on the same part of that tooling um, horses look cool um, never painted horses before really oh big sink mark there in the in the in the leg of that horse that's a shame but yeah it should go together well and there's a couple of a uh, couple of loose parts in the box looks like part of the part of the undercarriage of the coach or the suspension if they had suspension back in those days and there's a looks like a, a, pe a foot plate uh, where they c climbed into the into the coach um, there's quite a bit of seams and stuff but it, it's you know it's synonymous for for its for its age really for the time it was it was produced so I'm not worried too much about that um, yeah, it's, uh, I, I'm really, I'm really quite pleased. The plastic, the plastic's really like quite a hard plastic. Um, so that'll be, it'll be interesting to see how that reacts to uh, modern glues and stuff. Um, you know, like most people, I use quite a bit of Tammy R extra thin um, uh, as an adhesive, but I do have a number of these. Um, I don't know if, you, if you've bought an Airfix starter kit, you end up in, in some of the kits, or you used to anyway, you get a little selection of paints in a, and a tube of glue. Um, I always keep the tube of glue because they're handy, never throw anything away. I'm just having another look at this poor officer with the, with the chest wound. Um, personally, I think he'd be dead, but you know, yeah. And there's, there's a sink mark on the back of this dude as well. But I think this is going to be hidden by the back of the seat. So, yeah, there's uh, the normal things that we do. Bits of seam to be cleaned up. There's bits of a tiny bit of flash on there. But nothing major. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun painting these figures. Let's have a look at the instructions. Right, so front of the instructions is basically go straight into cement three prongs of the fork to reach bar part one to the rear axle part blah 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 right and a, and a, and a blown up diagram um, of what goes where um, that sort of thing and also a colour call out as well so that, that's quite a good thing so we'll, uh, we'll have a look at the, what, what the colour's like and then on the reverse there's just more of more of the same exploded diagrams and some basic colour call outs for, for the for the parts. Um, but we we'll have to we we'll have to see what we can do to maybe pick that up a bit. Um, obviously the the characters, the passengers are the the people on the on the roof of the of the coach. Um, they're obviously travelling second class and not first class. First class you'd be inside the coach. But it's a shame that there aren't any seats to go inside so that you can put passengers in. But never mind. It is what it is. Um, right. Well that's what I'm going to be building as part of the um, commercial vehicle group build. Um, yeah, a whole strong coach. Uh, how it can't be any more commercial than that. Um, yeah, should be fun. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't joined the, uh, the group build, uh, check out Jason at Model Kit Stuff and Robert Rim's models. Um, they've done 
sort of videos about it uh, and let them know that you're going you're entering it and uh, join us it should be fun anyway until the next time peep people um take it easy out there and uh have a good one bye for now